Hi folks, hope you're okay today. It's good to be with you. I just want to read a scripture, a couple of scriptures today to encourage you in the Word of God. One Peter. One Peter chapter one. Peter, an apostle of Jesus Christ, to to the sojourners scattered throughout Pontius, Galatia, Cappadocia, Asia, and Bithynia, elect according to the foreknowledge of God the Father through sanctification of the Spirit unto obedience, and sprinkling the blood of Jesus Christ, grace unto you and peace be multiplied. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who according to his abundant mercy has begotten us again unto a living hope by the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead to an inheritance incorruptible and undefiled and that fadeth not away reserved in heaven for you, who are kept by the power of God through faith unto salvation, ready to be revealed in the last day time. In this you greatly rejoice, though now for a season, if indeed you are in heaviness through manifold trials, that the trials of your faith, being much more precious than of gold, that perisheth, though it be tried with fire, might be found unto praise and honour and glory at the appearing of Jesus Christ. Whom having not seen, you love in whom, though you, now you see him not, you believing, you rejoice with joy unspeakable and full of glory, receiving the end of your faith, even the salvation of your souls, of which salvation the prophets have inquired and searched diligently, who prophesied of the grace that should come unto you. Searching that on what manner of time the Spirit of Christ who was in them did signify it, when he testified beforehand the sufferings of Christ and the glory that should follow. Unto whom it was revealed that not unto themselves but unto us they did minister the things that are now reported unto you by them that have preached the gospel unto you with the Holy Spirit sent down from heaven which things the angels desire to look into. Wherefore, gird up the loins of your mind, be sober, and hope to the end for the grace that it to be brought unto you at the revelation of Jesus Christ. As obedient children, not fashioning yourselves according to the form of lusts of the, in your ignorance, but as he who has called you is holy, be holy in all manner of life. Because it is written, Be ye holy, for I am holy. And if you call the Father, whom without respect to persons, Judges according to every man's work, past the time of your sojourning here in fear. For as much as you know that you were not redeemed with corruptible things like silver and gold from your vain manner of life received by traditions from your fathers, but with the precious blood of Christ as of lamb, without blemish and without spot, who verily was foreordained before the foundation of the world, but was manifest in these last times for you who by him do believe in God, who raised him up from the dead, and gave him glory, and your faith and hope might be in God, seeing that you have purified your souls in obeying the truth through the Spirit unto unfeigned love of the brethren, see that you love one another with a pure heart fervently, being born again not of corruptible seed, but of incorruptible by the word of God, which liveth and abideth forever. For all flesh is the grass, and all glory of man like the flower of grass. The grass withereth, and his flower falleth away, but the word of the Lord endureth forever, and this is the word which by the gospel is preached unto you. So, a couple of things here. It says in verse 6, In this you greatly rejoice, though now for a season, if indeed you be, are in heaviness through manifold trials. We mustn't be surprised that we're having a hard time in this world. This world will not be happy with our citizenship. If you... Uh, are a, a citizen of America and there's a war between America and Russia and then you go on holiday to Russia the Russians are not going to be happy that you're there and we have a, a citizenship in heaven and the citizens down here who are not citizens of heaven are not going to be happy with us and they're going to persecute us and it's going to be tough and they're going to do everything they can to stop us getting to heaven so we've got to expect that the world will persecute us and not be happy with us. He says here that we're to walk aright as obedient children, verse 14, not fashioning yourselves according to the form of lust 
in your ignorance, but as he who is called, ye holy, be ye holy, in all manner of life, because it is written, be ye holy, for I am holy. We have to live not according to the standards of the world, not according to the standards of our carnality, but to the standards of God's holiness and God's way. We are new creatures in Christ. We, we are no longer in the old way. And so we have to pursue not our old life, but pursue our new life, which is in the Holy Spirit. We have to pursue the heavenly manner, the heavenly kingdom, that we have to pursue Christ and pursue him rather than being fashioned by the world or fashioned by our old nature. We are to be fashioned by our new nature and our new life in Christ, our new way in Christ, our, our new vitality in Christ. So let us feed our new nature. Let us walk in the things of heaven. Let us seek God in the heavenly kingdom. And let us pursue that and not the baseness of this life and the baseness of our old nature, but in the purity and beauty of the life of Christ in the Holy Spirit. Let us remember we have a home in heaven and we're going to heaven. So let us pursue that with all our hearts <coughs> today. And he says, verse 19, but with the precious blood of Christ as of a lamb without blemish and without spot, verse 19. Let us never finally take our redemption. Let us never take our redemption for granted. Our redemption was paid by the blood of Christ. The blood of Christ is the Son of God. The Son of God is the King of Kings. The Son of God is God incarnate, God eternal, God the Creator coming down in human flesh. Who came down and suffered and died on that cross. And when he died on that cross he did not die as just as a man. He died as the son of God. And he died suffering for your sin and my sin. He took the wrath that you and I deserved. It is the precious blood of the lamb. And let us never ever get tired of that great and glorious and wonderful gospel. That the son of God died for you and me. God bless you.